find another one. Deadly Ten's able to get the retaliation back in his hands, but this man is not one sight. Uh oh. He's just completely left to check Tunner's Fury out. The group stage of Omen Valorant Challenger South Asia Split 2 has come to an end, and that means we are back again with another recap. Welcome to episode 3 of Omen Play by Play. The biggest story emerging from Group A is the downfall of Velocity Gaming, who started Split 1 as the favourites to win it all, but have been eliminated from the group stages in Split 2. Their performance this split has fallen extremely short of expectations, and whatever little chances they had of qualifying was squashed by the hands of Reckoning Esports. 6.13 on Lotus and 4.13 on Bind meant that VLT find themselves eliminated from the competition. Moving on to the last match of Group A where Reckoning Esports faced off Revenant Esports and while both teams had already qualified for the playoffs, they were fighting for bragging rights and seeding. Reckoning started the battle as they always do, taking unpredictable risks, going out on a limb to secure extra frags, leading to a comfortable 13-10 start on Lotus. Revenant struck back on Bind thanks to their superior attacking half to tie the series 1-1. Nobody was surprised to see the day carry to map 3. But what we all did not expect was a 13-5 scoreline on Fracture as Reckoning seized the day as well as the second spot on the Group A table. Spot. Oh, At least Blackhawk is able to trade him back, oh, but now there's Hellfire upon him. Yeah. Fire and Cataclysm raining down from the sky as they shake the whole ground and tear the skies. The two top dogs of Group B met on the first day of this week. Starting off on split, Wimp's tactical approach tore Aster Army apart as True Rippers started the series with a harrowing 13-5 win. But this new version of Aster Army knows how to get back on their feet, especially when the odds are stacked against them. And the following fight to claim Haven ascended to a whole new level. After a series of wins and trades, it culminated in a chaotic overtime between the two sides. Astra Army was better in navigating through the havoc, and as the dust settled, they claimed the map 16 to 14. True Rippers were surely not ready for this turnaround and were unable to recover. Shaken by the loss, the team's momentum fell as they suffered an agonizing defeat of 13 to 3 on ascent as Astra Army claimed the day. Two players surprised Kishi's position known. Even the player on Gen got uh, completely revealed. But Kishu does he land the shots? Kohli to flush off of it. Oh, that angle, but still gets one. one. And then Kohli comes in from A3. In the next match, Astra Army were up against the bottom place team of this group, Medal Esports, who were also out of the competition. So, fans were expecting a quick settlement here. But little did they know that Medal was saving the best for the last. As fate had it, Medal went toe to toe taking the first map to overtime and securing ascent with a 14-12. Easy's fragging was a sight to behold and the fans were blessed with one of the best Killjoys plays from this play. Astra Army maintained their tradition with a 13-11 on Fracture, yet they fell short to secure the deciding map as Metal won their first series and Astra Army finally tasted defeat. Crew Rippers logged horns with Godlike in their following match. And although this was the first time they were playing Pearl in this split, Godlike was no match for their side control. Godlike was securing a lot of gunfights, especially Caramel, who achieved a mind-moggling ACS of 314. However, it all fell short against True Ripper's coordinated assaults during post plants. Godlike secured only one defuse in their defending rounds, revealing who is the better team here. And that 1v4 from RU set the momentum for the day. The gravity well available, does not even use it. Wait, there still is a chance. Pulling them in. The gravity well now used. Is he able to win all these battles? Backed up. One, the second player goes out too. He also gets Lexi. The shot won't get anything. The duo of RU and Desarab then pummeled Godlike in the second half of Lotus purely on aim game and sealed the day 2-0. The high-stakes final Group B match was to decide what the final table for this group is going to look like. Godlike Esports wasn't quite having their best time this season. Backed against the wall, the team managed to take the series to a third map, where Aster Army overwhelmed them by never allowing Godlike to string together multiple rounds. 
At least for now, no. but still Kishi is gonna manage to find those connections through the wall. Godlike, at least they've got the spike plant down. It's a three on four scenario. Man advantage out there in their hands, but Zay's able to connect those shots. And Marcel and Aduka in the close quarter able to shut him down. Keep all by himself in the close lines with only a classic in the hand. And Astro Army, they seal the deal and eliminate Godlike outside the split too. The tension of the playoffs is about to bowl over. Join us live and watch the worthy climb up the ladder at Omen Valorant Challenges South Asia Split 2. Also, subscribe to Omen India's YouTube channel for more such content and we will see you in the next episode.